Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas In-Depth. Few races in Texas have gained as much attention as the one for Texas governor. That's because few campaigns have candidates with background stories quite like these. Long before Wendy Davis or Greg Abbott ever thought of running for office, their lives were shaped. Davis, as a teenager, gave birth to her first child. Soon after, she was on her own, raising her daughter as a single mother, just as Davis's mom did before her. If you want a governor who will speak for everyone, then every Texan needs to be a part of getting that governor elected. She took classes at a community college in Fort Worth, then went to Texas Christian University, then Harvard Law. Until the families who are burning the candles at both ends can finally make those ends meet, we will keep going. Until the amazing health care advances pioneered in this state reach everyone who needs them, we will keep going. Davis faced tragedy. After raising two girls, she had to terminate two later pregnancies due to medical conditions. Through it all, she was elected to the Fort Worth City Council before running for state senate. Greg Abbott's life quickly changed soon after he graduated from law school. While I was out jogging, a huge oak tree crashed down into my back, fractured my vertebrae and my spinal cord, leaving me forever paralyzed. Abbott sued the homeowner and the tree service that inspected the oak. He settled in the mid-80s with a guaranteed six-figure income for the rest of his life. Through the campaign, Abbott has run ads about his paralysis, even joking with supporters. Well, you. Too often you hear politicians get up and talk about having a spine of steel. I actually have one, and I will use my steel spine to fight for you and for Texas families every single day. Abbott made it clear he never let his paralysis get in the way of his life. And when I interviewed him one-on-one, -on -one, I asked how the accident shaped his outlook. You know, what it has shown me uh, is that all of us are challenged in life in different ways. And the important thing is really not those challenges, but how we decide to respond to those challenges. And by responding the way I have, going on to be the attorney general and now on the threshold of becoming governor, it shows everyone in Texas that we all face challenges, but we can overcome them and go on to achieve great things. If you are elected, your wife will become the first Latina first lady of Texas. You've talked a lot about her and her family. You've had Spanish language ads, you even you know, pushed for the debate in the Rio Grande Valley. But still, Wendy Davis um, has an edge when it comes to the Hispanic vote. Why has she been able to uh, you know, keep that uh, voting base, but you haven't been as successful so far. Well, I got to tell you, I, I think we're going to prove very successful uh, with the Hispanic vote in the state of Texas for the very same reason uh, that my mother-in-law talked about uh, in the ad that she cut. She's mi suegra, and she talks about how uh, the values of her s Hispanic culture are exactly the same as my values, which is the faith and family and the kind of freedom that allows a family to start and grow a business. The latest Lyceum poll, though, showed that the numbers were down there. You know, you've got just a little bit left before the election. How do you, you know, captivate that audience, specifically the Hispanic population? Well, we've seen here in San Antonio today, we've seen uh, in my trips to the Valley, but also in the Hispanic communities in, in Austin, in Houston, in, in Dallas. Uh, they are powerfully supporting my campaign because uh, they know uh, in me they have someone who really champions their values. Lastly, a lot has changed uh, with the scope of what's happening on the border since you originally made your um, border plan public. Uh, you know, Dan Patrick has said that that would be his number one priority as lieutenant governor. Do you feel like you would side with him? Well, part of the plan that I have announced uh, is ensuring that we secure the border. This is something that I've seen both in my role as chairman of the Texas Human Trafficking Prevention Task Force, as well as my work with the Texas Department of Public Safety. We see cross-border dangers every single day, and as governor, I will ensure that we will do what the federal government has failed to do. I will secure the border. Our conversation continues with General Abbott's Democratic opponent, Senator Wendy Davis. Everywhere I go in this state, an enthusiasm behind this race that I haven't seen in gubernatorial politics since Ann Richards. But regardless of the outcome, people have come together. 
next on State of Texas In-Depth.